What did the popular kid at your school do to go from cool to an absolute outcast? Hi reddit guys, subscribe now, or I won't go to school anymore. Pulled out a knife and slashed another student. Kid with a knife went to outcast status. Kid that got slashed became super cool and had a scar. Everyone wanted to see it. I can link to an article about the stabbing if anyone's interested. So your school had a knife incident and their response was to ban phones. The phones who had the evidence were to blame, but not the knife or the lack of security in school. Sounds like school. Crack. He and his couple friends started smoking crack senior year of high school. They got quarantined to themselves. Ran into one of them a couple weeks ago. He kept trying to get me back to their apartment to do meth. Well at least he's off the crack. He upgrades to crack plus. The eye crack s plus. He was trying to clap them cheeks. Accidentally left a video of himself sticking stuff up his ass on a phone that he sold to another student. I never saw him again after that. Plot twist he was just trying to hook a brother up and it backfired. He was popular. Because he was a rebel that talked back to teachers. And insulted them openly. He became an outcast. Because he made the teacher everyone loved cry. I had a guy in my class do this recently. Nobody really talks to him anymore. Rule 1 of school. Don't frick with the cool teachers. Killed an infant in a car accident. Completely shut down during senior year. Wouldn't talk to anybody anymore. Ugh Jesus. That sounds like one of those situations which ends horribly for every single person involved. Blah. Yeah, there wasn't really anybody at fault either, it was just a massive case of bad luck. People reached out to him for a while, but eventually I think people just couldn't keep stressing themselves over it. If there were social situations outside of school, I didn't know about them, but in school he was pretty much a self-inflicted pariah. That pool baby and pool guy. A few years after I was out of school, a kid I knew killed a baby by shaking it. I remember being several steps removed from this person, but still feeling abhorrently sick when I heard about what happened. But in that situation there was someone to blame so to speak. In what you are describing, there wasn't really anything that could be done. In some ways I wonder if that doesn't actually make the whole grieving, adjusting process worse. I had a cousin who died as a very small child, because she walked out from behind two parked cars into the street out front of a church. A young man was driving to church and accidentally killed her. He never drove again. Ruined his whole life. Pool guy. Most popular kid in my middle school was this big Samoan dude. Looked like he was 13 going on 25 years old. I remember he gained a lot of popularity when he serenaded this girl in class to ask her to the dance. He had music playing on his iPhone and he started belting out love songs while on bended knee. Later on that year he went from hero to zero when we found out he'd been molesting his sister. Zero 100 real frickin quick. Jesus Christ that ending. Or, oh, this guy sounds so sweet what the frick. Oh god hope he chokes on a straw. He got drunk and killed a family of four in a car accident. That's so dark. Well. The popular girl at my school tried to ruin the life of a really sweet girl because of boyfriend drama. When she realized people were standing up for the sweet girl instead, she lost her mind. Accusing the other girl and her boyfriend of property damage. Turning on anyone who didn't swear loyalty to her. Turning people against one another. Screaming at teachers. It was a mess. The nail in the coffin was when she confided to me and two others that she was planning to put laxatives in the pastries she baked for the class. Obviously I'll let people know, and she became completely ostracized. She left at the end of junior year, and senior year was the most chill year ever. I don't blame you for letting people know, you can't let that it slide. Unbelievable smooth comment. I got fed an entire bottle of Zlax over the course of a day. I'm pretty sure I missed 2 days of school and lost 3-5 pounds. I didn't leave the toilet 4 days, it was easily the worst week of my life. Oh yeah and to top it all off it completely fricked with how my body functions so now when I have to it I gotta go right then or I'm gonna rid myself. 
she tried to manipulate all her friends and pit them against each other with a bunch of catty lies. Well that in combination with wearing her pageant sash and crown to school for like a week. All girls school. Was your friend Iago by any chance? Sent his girlfriend's naked pics to the whole school. Whoa, what a scumbag. The worst part of it was the excuse he gave. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to send it to everyone. Just a couple guys from the basketball team. He ended up switching schools. Yes, still a legal dumbass. And a dong move. This kid in middle school used to talk it to everyone. He had nice stuff his parents got him and everyone thought he was tough and could fight until one day he started on a special needs kid. Nobody had ever actually seen the popular kid fight, he just was excellent at intimidation. Now a lot of the special needs kids in my area weren't just students who were mentally challenged, but had overall learning disabilities. Many of those kids came from very tough homes and the special needs kid who the popular kid messed with was an absolute savage. He grew up in a pretty tough part of town, but was really a gentle giant. He could play football. He was muscular. He could do everything the regular students could do except speak properly. A minor speech impediment. The popular kid challenged him to a one on one fight and got his ass kicked by the special needs kid. I'm talking blood everywhere. His clothes got ripped, one of his sneakers landed like 10 feet away, and to top it all off he even tried running away after the first few punches. The special needs kid grabbed him and pulled him back. It was a massacre. The popular kid not only lost all of his influence, but didn't even have the guts to come back to school for like a week. If I ever saw instant karma it would have had to have been on this day, because he was quiet as a mouse the rest of the years through high school. A lot of the special needs kids in my elementary to high school were pretty regular they just had anger problems, so everyone knew not to say anything too offhand. My boyfriend in junior high school told one of the special needs kids his breath was stale and he got his head busted open on the side of the building. I was friends w one of the girls in special ed. When she found out her boyfriend was cheating she knocked the other girl out with one punch, and kept going. It was brutal. She was beautiful and smart, just easily provoked. Neither of them got suspended though. School administrator here. In the US, schools cannot suspend a child with an IEP, individualized education plan, without reconvening the entire IEP team, teachers, specialists, parents, administrators, nurse, etc. The team then would have to determine whether the behavior was a manifestation of the child's disability or not. If it is a manifestation, then interventions and other strategies to manage the behavior need to be tried to ensure that we're not unfairly punishing a child for something they cannot control. If not a manifestation, then the child can be suspended. After a certain number of manifestation meetings, then the child could potentially be outplaced to a special school. It's possible that manifestation meetings were held and you weren't aware of it. There was a popular cheerleader at my school that was in a bad car wreck and she suffered severe brain damage. The day she came back some of her friends, aka the popular kids, sat with her at lunch. Every day after that though, they sat on the other side of the cafeteria in their normal spot and she was with the other special needs students. They would walk past her without saying a word. As far as everyone knew, her entire group of friends completely abandoned her. I don't think she missed them though, so silver lining, she seemed to be very happy most of the time after the accident. Not so much before. This was in the mid late 80s, and every teen movie with a bunch of itty preppies pretty much accurately depicts the popular kids in my HS. Exact same happened in my class. She had a itty boyfriend who she wanted to break up with, because he was mean to her but he died in the accident so all she remembered was how great he was because of her mental issues after the accident. Killed two university students while drunk driving and then complained, because she wouldn't be able to go to the bar and get drunk on her 18th birthday. How shallow and narcissistic do you have to be to pull this it? Freaking hell. There's someone further up who killed a kid entirely by accident and went into self-imposed isolation because of the guilt. Pretty freaking shallow and narcissistic. Unfortunately I know a girl from high school who hit a stroller while plastered. She had two freaking miracles happen to her that year. 
One the child wasn't in the stroller the mum had pulled them out while talking to a friend and two somehow the judge didn't hit her with the book and agreed to let her keep her license and skip jail with the condition of probation. No drinking and mandatory AA. She posted on Facebook probation starts tomorrow who wants to get plastered before I can't anymore she didn't even make it one day. He hooked up with two of his friend's girlfriends. They ditched him after that. There was a guy that was pretty popular. He got really drunk at a party and totally didn't know where he was. He pulled down his pants, squatted and totally started to poop. He moved away immediately. He was a senior and I was in 8th grade. That was well over 25 years ago. Well, he friended me on Facebook a couple months ago and I kinda recognized him. I racked my brain and it came to me. The guy who pooped at the party. Pool guy. Sometimes when I'm pooping at home in my own bathroom I think, what if I'm delusional and I'm really somewhere else? What if I fell asleep at work, and I'm dreaming and pooping in my chair? What if I wake up and there's poop everywhere? It haunts me. You are not alone. I've had the same awful thought. I think it's because I have had so many dreams where I am peeing or pooping and it's in really weird places. For instance like two nights ago I dreamt I was on a toilet in the back of a truck pooping, while the car was driving and water kept splashing my butt. You are not alone. Okay reddit guys, subscribe now, or I won't go to school anymore.